All right, we got another one today, guys. Today it's the Autel MK808ZBT. Now, if you go back and look at my channel, I've done at least three other 808 scan tool videos in the past. Uh, and ironically, I did the same MK808BT without the Z in September of 2018. So basically the same tool in 2018. And so there's been some big changes on this tool since then. So it'll be kind of fun to go back and compare the two videos to see what has changed. We're not going to spend a bunch of time on the intro here. This is what the case looks like when it arrives. This is what it looks like when you remove the cardboard sleeve. This is what the bottom half of the case looks like when it's open. And you can see that's what the top half of the case looks like. Let's start with the bottom half. Of course, you got the tool itself, the 808, the MK808Z BT. The BT stands for Bluetooth, so it has a Bluetooth VCI and a built-in holder, so you don't lose that thing. On the back, there's a kickstand. On the top, there's a power button, a USB-A port, an HDMI port for video out, a micro USD card slot, and a mini USB port. And it's the standard 808 tablet on the front. Then you got some silicon gel. In here, you've got a North American charging brick with a USB charging cable. And then up here in the top half, You've got, just like in all the other Autel scan tool videos, you've got a quick start guide and a quick reference guide and a list of all the stuff that it comes with and a cloth. And then over here, there is another USB cable. And inside there's another little package in here, which is a little, a little tether that you can tie onto that wireless Bluetooth dongle so you don't lose it. The reason why this scan tool comes with two USB cables is because you could potentially be using one cable to charge it with the charging brick and another cable to connect the wireless VCI to the scan tool itself via a USB cable instead of through the Bluetooth connection. In case for whatever reason you lost connectivity, you could connect a wire between the wireless VCI and the scan tool and do a wired connection. And I have tried it and it does work. And you can also do updates from the scan tool to the wireless VCI to update the firmware in that VCI. But that's enough of that. Let's get into the scan tool. All right, here's what the scan tool looks like all powered up. It looks pretty much the same as the last Autel 808 scan tools that I've reviewed. Uh, I've done an MK-808, a DS-808, and I've done uh, an MP-808, which was the most recent one last month. And that one was that one was pretty cool because it had built-in TPMS capabilities along with the standard scan tool itself. And I just want to go over a couple things here before we go too far. Some information, I, I asked the people at Autel a few questions and they came back with a few answers for me. So I'm going to put this up on uh, the screen so you guys can see it better. The first question was, how long is the free update period? And the answer is one year of free updates. Uh, second is, how much do updates cost after the free update period has ended? And the answer is $150 a year USD. Uh, the next one is, does the scan tool continue to operate at its current software level if the owner decides not to buy future updates? The answer is yes, the scan tool will continue to operate at its current software level. How long is the manufacturer's warranty? It's one year. Do you have a customer service or tech support email address specifically for Autel scan tools? And the, the email address is autel-service at outlook.com. And I've got one more here I'm going to put up on the screen for you guys to see. This is a few specs. The MK808Z BT uses the Android 11 operating system, which is new for 2023 previous 808s, going all the way back to that first one I reviewed five years ago, or almost five years ago, used KitKat 4.4, all the way up until just recently, up until six months ago. Uh, this scan tool also has dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5.0 gigahertz, which is also new for 2023. Previous 808s only had 2.4. This new scan tool has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of ROM, new for 2023. I believe the previous 808s only had one gig of RAM. 
Uh, this one also has the upgraded rock chip 1.8 gigahertz RK3566 processor, which is new for 2023, and that is a quad core processor. Uh, it has a 7 inch LCD touchscreen with 1024 by 600 resolution. It's auto auth compatible for 2018 and later FCA cars. It's compatible with the Autel BT506 battery tester, which is not included. It's compatible with the Autel MV108 inspection scope, which is not included. It has a 5,000 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, and this is again a wireless scan tool with a Bluetooth VCI module. So I don't want to go through too much of this. I bore you. I pretty much make the same, pretty much make the same video every time I have an Autel. We've been through all of this several times in the past. You can go back and check out my uh, previous Autel scan tool videos if you want to know what some of this other stuff is. But today we're pretty much just going to focus on the main stuff. Let's go into the diagnostics. I wanted to show you. I don't know if I've showed this before. Instead of hitting the auto ID, or you can go in by make and model. If you've already been into a vehicle once before and you're going to reconnect to it again, instead of going through all the hoops of answering all the questions about all the options on the car, on this particular scan tool or on, on Autel scan tools, you can click this history. And then if you click the white box, it'll pull up the, uh, the diagnostic report and the, scan and the scan results. But if you click the little blue circle there, it'll bring you right back into the vehicle without having to do anything else. And here we are, boom, now we're into the vehicle. We can either do good diagnostics and go into each individual module, or we can do the hot functions. Now uh, let's hit auto scan so we can see what that looks like. I'll speed it up so you guys don't have to uh, sit through the whole thing. All right, well, it's done scanning. But anyway, that's the full system scan. You guys have seen that before a bunch of times. Let's get out of here. Let's go into control unit. We'll go down and make sure this thing has all the features and functions that it should have on this particular vehicle. Whatever you guys plug into, whatever make and model you plug into could and usually will be completely different from what you see here. But let's go into powertrain. We'll go into special functions. Uh, we'll go to... Uh, Fuel trim reset, fuel composition reset. That's what I wanted to see. And we'll go back. And I want to go into, we'll go into passenger presence systems. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to special functions, re-zero passenger presence system. Now, if you go back and look at the original MK808 video, BT, from almost five years ago, I did not have the ability to reset fuel alcohol composition like it does now. And I did not have, I don't know if I showed it on there, but I did not have the ability to re-zero passenger presence system. And in fact, I didn't have many, if any, bidirectional controls. I couldn't turn on engine fans. I couldn't turn on the fuel pump. I couldn't cycle the air conditioning clutch. Those are just some examples. I couldn't do most of that. I was able to find out how to roll up and down the passenger window and lock and unlock doors. Which, you know, that could be helpful if you're working on that particular device. But that was it. It had no bidirectional control. The family of 808 scan tools got a major update on July 1st of last summer, 2022. And that pretty much gave all 808 scan tools full bidirectional control. Uh, as I'm sure you know, if you've looked around for a new scan tool, there's a bunch of them on the market these days. And I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm assuming Autel figured in order to keep up with the competition that they needed to open up the functionality of this particular line of scan tools because they were probably losing sales to some of these other companies. Now, I'm not saying those other companies are better because they were selling their tools cheaper or with more features, but uh, you know, I think Autel just wanted to keep up. And, you know, I've said it before, and I've said it many times in my past Autel videos. You know, it's hard to beat an Autel scan tool. I, I hate to directly come out and say it because I review a lot of different brands, but, you know, Autel is probably, well, it is my number one favorite scan tool brand. Now, I've never used a Snap-on, but of all the other, you know, brands out there, uh, 
Um, if I had to make a choice, if I could only have one, it would be an Autel. One other nice thing about an Autel scan tool is, you know, it's just basically a an Android tablet. And you can click the Android Home button down here, and you can see it looks just like, you know, there's apps in here. There's Acrobat Reader, and there's a clock, and a calendar, and a gallery, and a calculator, and there's a screen recorder, and, you know, there's a Google Chrome. There's a web browser. You can do email. Here's the software for the diagnostic Autel software, Maxicom. Just a, an Android tablet. So you can you could potentially install other apps on here and use it for other things. Whereas a lot of the other scan tool manufacturers like, uh, you know, Launch or, or Top Don, you know, those are Android tablets too, but they pretty much have them locked down. You, you, they, you could pretty much only use them just with their, so, their software. They don't like to allow you, unless you can figure out how to backdoor something in. Uh, it's pretty much just a tablet for their scanning software. I guess the few main takeaways from this video is uh, this 808 has all the new hardware and features for 2023. If you're in the market for a new Autel 808, be sure that the one you buy has all the new hardware in it from 2023. There's still a bunch of new old stock 808 scan tools out there on various websites around the internet that have the old hardware in them and you know it could the, in fact it could, the tablet itself the physical tablet itself could be two or three years old because it doesn't matter because as soon as you buy the scan tool and ship they ship it to you the first thing you're supposed to do is turn it on and get it onto the wi-fi network at your house or your office and and update the tool so as long as you've got the new 2023 most current software on there, it's going to look and feel like a 2023 tablet, but yet it's got the old hardware inside. So just make sure when you're on the internet and you're reading the specs of the particular 808 that you're looking at, make sure it has, you know, for example, the Android 11.0 and it has... Uh, you know, 4 gigs of RAM instead of 1 gig of RAM. Make sure it has dual band Wi-Fi. Make sure it says it has the uh, the updated processor. Otherwise, if it doesn't say it, it doesn't have it. So just be aware. And uh, also, like I said uh, before, as of July 1st last summer, Autel put out a, a giant update, in which pretty much gave all 808 scan tools the ability to have full bi-directional control. Now, older 808 scan tools already out in the wild, they have the ability to upgrade to this newer software and have more functionality than they previously had. However, you need a current subscription to do that. So, you know, take that 808 scan tool that I reviewed five years ago. I never put a new update on that scan tool, so there'd be no way I could update that to the new software unless I renewed the subscription. Uh, I currently don't have that scan tool in my possession anymore, but if I did, you know, that would be an option. I could spend, you know, the $150 for a new annual subscription, update the scan tool, and I would have all the new features and functions. However, it's still on the old hardware. Another thing to take away from that, this particular 808 does not have the full TPMS capabilities like the previous 808 that I reviewed last month. Uh, there are many 808s on the market. There's the MP, the MK, the DS, the MX. And at one time, there was probably a difference uh, between all those models. But, but nowadays, after that big update last summer, uh, they all pretty much look and feel the same to me. The major differences are between the 808s now, regardless if it's MK or MP or DS or MX, the major differences now are, to me anyway, is it either has or doesn't have full TPMS capability, and it's either Bluetooth or wired. Those are pretty much the options. You either get a wired or wireless, or with or without TPMS. So, depends on what you're looking for. This particular 808, this MK808Z-BT, is a very capable scan tool. In fact, as far as I know, this scan tool has the exact same functionality as a 906 or even basically a 908. The only thing those scan tools have is, you know, a larger screen and maybe a bigger battery and whatnot. I pretty much gave up trying to uh, look for any slight differences between all the 808 scan tool models because 
Well, one thing is Autel's marketing material isn't very clear to begin with, and a lot of the marketing material you'll run in today is still on the Internet from before that big update, so you really got to weed through and sift through what's current and what's old and been reposted or republished. Um, as far as I know, and don't hold me to it, um, pretty much all the 808s are very similar. I mean, you might be able don't get me wrong, I'm sure somebody on the Internet could point out a difference here and a difference there, but of all the ones that I've used and tested, uh, they've all pretty much been the same. So get yourself an 808 with the current hardware and decide if you want wireless or wired and decide if you want it built in with TPMS or not. These are very capable scan tools. They work terrific. And again, don't get me wrong, I'm sure somebody out there could say, oh, well, I plugged it into such and such and it didn't work on this or that. Yeah, I know. I, I, I get it. Every scan tool brand in the world today can potentially struggle on certain makes and models. But in general, you can't go wrong with an Autel 808. And uh, a reminder, go check out my previous MK808BT video from five years ago and compare it to this one. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And just for fun, for those of you who stuck around until the end of the video, put a comment below and let me know if you're a first time scan tool buyer or if you're an old veteran and you've had many scan tools in the past. Kind of curious to see who's, uh, who's watching the videos. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.